get it? <laughs> Can we create a single cohesive team? Can we do that? <clears throat> I mentioned the Agile Manifesto before. The manifesto represents values and principles. You probably have some organizational values and principles. And then we have practices that we follow that uphold the values and principles. There are some specific scrum values, however, that I want to make sure you're familiar with. There's five specific scrum values. Focus. We believe there's value in creating a work environment where people and teams can focus on their work. Commitment. We believe there's value in creating a work environment where people and teams can commit to things because they know they'll have the support of the rest of the organization to help them meet those commitments. When I first heard about courage being an expectation, I thought that was kind of odd. Why courage? <clears throat> Like Courage is just doing the right thing even when it's uncomfortable. Do the right thing anyway. Empirical process control requires openness. Inspecting, adapting requires that we, we can see the real deal. We know what's going on. In order for this to work, we have to be comfortable that what we're looking at is the right information that's going to help us make good decisions. And finally, we do it all with respect. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. All right, let's um, let's uh, let's have a little. Self-organization exercise is our last activity. When you came in, you got one of those, can I follow this please? Thank you, you got one of these, right? Mm -hmm. You got one of these. Okay, now please hold it where you can see the scrum reference side. Don't turn on the back, the back is all marketing stuff on that. Don't worry about it. But look at the front of the car, look at the front of the car. Now, if you don't have a little scrap of paper to write on, uh, there's, there were these little blue index cards that were floating around. Oh yeah, thank you. Does anybody thank need you. one of these? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, and you, and you need something to, to write on, right? So I gave you little scraps of paper, and if you don't have a pen, just borrow a pen from someone when the time comes. The little blue cards? Little scrap of papers? Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. No, I think they're already happening. Anybody need anything else? Here, I'll give you a case. What do you need? Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay. When I say go, and not until I use that magic word. When I say go. You're going to take your reference card and you're going to turn it over. Not yet. You're going to turn it over. And we're going to conduct a little bit of an experiment. Now, I've done this a couple of times with this many people, and so far it's worked. There's a chance it might backfire. It's a self organization experiment. We're going to see. When I use that magic word, you're going to look at the back of the card. And in 30 to 40 seconds, you're going to make a quick mental estimate of how many words are represented on the back of that card. <laughs> and then you're going to write that estimate down so you don't forget it. That's the only reason why you need that scrap paper, so you don't forget the estimate. Ready, set, go.
independently on your own. <coughs> we were a team. <laughs> okay. Write it down. Write down your estimate. Okay. Don't change it. Don't change it. Now. Sorry. Now. You're going to create a small group with the people around you. Try and get like four or five people. You might have to move. And the same time frame, less than 45 seconds, you're going to come to a team conclusion on how many words you think are on the back of that car. Ready? Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and next in the back? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? 400. 400. Thank you. Uh, in the back? 500. 500. Okay, still going here. over here. 449. 449. <laughs> <laughs> the price is right. Okay, now. 500. 500. 500. 950. 950. <laughs> Okay, moving towards here, yes. Four fifty. Uh, Four fifty. Yeah. Four fifty, and there's someone behind you. Two seventy six. Two seventy six. Oh. That's too much. Uh, moving over. 452. 452. 452. Uh, you got yours already? Yeah, okay, good. Come in front. 624. 624. I love it. Wow. Okay, 624. 550. 560. Over here. 621. 621. Yes. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Did you hear that? She said, does the zip code count? I said, yes. And she goes, okay, then 700 dollars. <laughs> Okay, anybody else over here? Okay, over here? Yes? 
508. Yes? 273. 273. 600. 600. Anybody else? Did I miss anybody? Did I miss anybody? Now, obviously, I have no way of understanding how this would turn out. Keep. We were doing t-shirt sizing. But let's, let's scroll down and see what the average is. That was the average. Okay? 535. The actual. I don't understand. I don't understand. So who won? Three point. Okay, so so uh, which team came close to 553? So what numbers? 550. 550. 550 is closer. Anybody closer than 550? You get a prize. That's pretty good. Uh, we did uh, expect some Q&A time, but we want to be respectful of your schedule also. So, Rick, uh, do you want to close us out, or how do you want to do this? Uh, Alex, you going to close us out? Do you want to ask any questions before we close? Wouldn't have been all the questions that were up on the board. Yeah, so yeah. we have some questions on the board that we're going to share with you, and then we're going to pass it out. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, tell them. But there's a quiz. Yes, there's a quiz. It's going to be a quiz. Okay. Quiz. Let's Again. go for it. So I guess if people have to leave, we understand that. Right, right. But if they can stay, okay. Alex is going to close. Go ahead. Guys, listen up. So